future game popping up here right at the beginning to mention that this is actually the third, aka Jean's birthday. I will not be bringing this up throughout this video purely because we have nothing to give him. His favorite gift is a cow horn. His liked gifts are moon drops and sashimi. We have access to none of these things. So, moving on. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory. So, in the last episode, I ended it off just showing off what I was doing with the day. We set up a bit on the farm, and I said we'd be doing quite a bit today. Or at least I hope I said that, because I have huge plans today. So, starting off the day, we're watering all the crops, chopping down any logs that have appeared in our field, picking up anything of value as well, coming to the cave to water all the crops, getting a skill up, dodging all the enemies, coming up here to water this one, making good use for our axe to chop down these logs, wishing we could cut this down, but sadly our axe is rusty and old, deciding, hey, it might be a good idea to till these fields at some point. Deciding watering them might not be a bad idea, too, for reasons, and baiting the monster in the process. And hey, farming experience is farming experience, right? And those are our chores for the morning. So, since it is now after... well, actually almost after 10, I was gonna say 9, we can come up here, head to the part shop. Hey you, I heard you got past a Carmite cave. I know it's good to aim high, but try not to push yourself. Same old stuff. Say, Raguna, you're pretty handsome. Oh, um, I didn't mean anything by that. Don't get me wrong. Good morning. Oh, Rosetta, my love. Wherefore art thou, Rosetta? I'm here, you moron. Oh, Ros... No. Come on in. I see you've managed to get past a Carmite cave, Raguna. Very impressive, considering your age. Do be careful, though. There are monsters in there. Come on in. As a reminder, the translation of this game isn't perfect. Thanks for coming, Let as something slide. And yesterday, we made a lot of money via fishing. How much money? Well, 1300 G worth. That's the theme of the G coming through, baby. So, we have money to spare now. So I'd like to spend, uh, I have a bunch of things I could do here. I think I'm going to pick up one strawberry and one radish, thus spending a total of 600. I will also sell my one yellow grass I have on me just to keep myself a little bit above where I need to be. So, yesterday I said it might be a few days until we actually, you know, yeah, de delved into the dungeon and did anything. I lied, because I have more money than I figured I would get. So, let's buy this now. The broadsword. Hmm, good luck in the caves. There are rocks in the caves, eh? Break them open, you, you can get ore, eh? You can get the ore to strengthen the swords or hose, I. You don't seem to have a hammer. It is one of the old ones, but here, take it, I. Thank you very much. And now, do 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 do, you got a cheap hammer. It is your way to mine in this game, and it's very good later on. It's not good currently, but that's fine. It doesn't have to be. Now, I've waited until the third day to actually talk about how the Bachelorette system works in this game, so that, you know, we wouldn't be pushing everything onto the first two episodes. Now, over here. This is the Bachelorette, or at least the friendliness system. Um, everyone has a friend and love stat. Currently, we are zero with everyone. I believe we've met everyone. Future game can correct me if I'm wrong, but I won't know until the end of the session when I start actually editing and realize I've missed someone, or if I just walk into them and go, oh, wait, I never actually talked to you. Um, but currently, there are some bachelorettes among these people. Mist is one. Rosetta is another. Tori is another. Laura is another. There is Melody, Felicity, Tabitha, and Bianca. 
So among those eight, I believe eight is the correct amount, there technically is another marriage candidate, but we cannot meet her yet. I'll get into that later just to avoid spoiling things, but for now, if you want to marry one of these eight, you can. And they're all good choices. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses. I won't judge you. I'll get in more about this later, but uh, if you want to check out friendliness, you can either have it set to auto where it chooses the order, friend, which chooses the highest friend stat, currently all or zero, so it doesn't matter, or love, which chooses the highest love stat, thus making it only bachelorettes. Now, um, each bachelorette has different likes and things that will increase their love points. Uh, the biggest thing to know about Laura, do not fall unconscious. You lose affection every time you do. But come in here and talk to her. If you collapse in Karmic Cave, it'll cost you your life. Please be careful. She worries about the people here. She has a genuinely good heart. A gen genuinely good heart. Good morning. Can I have a word with you? Well, well, Raguna, I hear you gotta pass to Carmite Cave. In that case, there's something I'd better tell you. Now listen up. If you lose all your strength while in a cave, not even I can, will be able to help you. In other words, if your HP reaches zero, you'll die. They don't restrict access there for no reason. That place is dangerous. I mean, he... he makes sense. Now, uh, let's head out to the other Bachelorettes. Good morning. Tori. Mr. Raguna, I hear you got a pass to Carmite Cave. Please take care. There are monsters in there. Um, I actually need to bring up my notes on Tori to remember everything about her. Tori is not the one of the people who has special things for her. Tori just likes to be talked to. She likes gifts. And I'll get into what people like a bit later for gifts, but for now we don't have anything to give, so it's not worth mentioning. Um, let's head up here. Felicity works at Newman's shop, as we know. Good morning. So you got a pass for Carmite Cave, eh? I heard it's a dangerous place, so be careful. So, you've come to buy something. Carmite Cave, eh? I went there many times looking for monsters. Alright. Felicity likes it if you actually talk to her during festivals. That's how you get her love points to go up easily. Um... Festivals being not holiday, which is the sixth day of the week, but festivals are the special events. They can be... they can be a lot of things. It, it doesn't really matter for now, but we'll get in more of those Come later. Come on in. Hi, Raguna. What can I do for you today? Here you go to Pastor Carmite Cave. The whole town is talking about it. I'm sure you guys are. Good morning. It looks like you got a pass to Carmite Cave. And while you're there, remember that our thoughts are with you. Wesley is a good guy. A very good, devout priest. He's... I don't know what the religion in this world is called, because I feel like they say it in later games, but I've just lost it. But the generic religion that is all kind of similar to Christianity, I guess. Or Catholicism. Hey, are you planning to go into Carmite Cave? I wonder what delicacies are in there. My stomach rumbles just thinking of it. Tabitha? Raguna, you're heading off to the caves, aren't you? Yeah. If you can get along with the monsters in the cave, you can become friends with them. If you have this friendship glove, you can become friends with them. Press B to equip the glove, blah 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 blah, win over, and it may become your friend. But be careful, you may be attacked before you win the monster over. It's an amazing item! The way to get along with someone without speaking is through showing how you feel. Even if the monster hits you, you have to show it that it wants to be fr that you want to be friends with it. Okay, got it. You seem to know a lot about this, Tapitha. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> you got a friendship glove. We can now befriend monsters. Kind of. Remember th that in this important fact. You need a monster hut to get along with monsters. Tell Mr. Camus and he'll build you a monster hut. No matter how much you use the friendship glove, you won't befriend monsters without monster hut. So, we need to build a monster hut. It costs 100 uh, wood and 1,000 gold. It's not something we'll be doing until probably the second season sometime, but I figure I should mention it now and tell you that you can use them. They're anything from normal animals, which are like woolies, the sheep, um, buffamoos, and the like. I don't remember what the other variant is, or cows. And they're, they're all just for wool milk, things like that. 
honey from bees, etc., etc. But there are also ones that you can bring into battle with you. They do help to some degree. I don't typically use them in this game. I've started using them more in 2 and even more after that into 3. But, you know, it's an available thing that I will show off during the next season. Warning. I hear you got a pass for Carmack Cave. What's the fun in going to that kind of place? I only need to eat two meals a day, but Daddy has seven. Getting things such as a pass for Carmack Cave makes you a real explorer. Could it be that you prefer fighting to farming? Good morning. I'll reward you for any food that brings me that makes me drool with happiness. I don't know how to do his voice. He's just incredibly silly. I was amazed at the number of different ways of cooking that people use. You need a sword if you go to Carmack's Cave. It's fun to hide stuff. Oh, hey, Raguna, how are you doing? When I grow up, I wonder if I'll get to marry Cece. <clears throat> Hello, child. You poor, misguided fool. Please, come in. You got a pass to carve my cave. Now listen up and listen good. Those caves are dangerous. Don't you go forgetting that. How's your field coming along? New character time. I knew I was forgetting someone. So guys, addendum to my previous statement, I, there are, I feel like there are 10 bachelorettes that I can meet now, but I don't think that number is accurate. I'm not sure. Uh, for now. What? My name is Raguna, it's good to meet you. Raguna? What a weird name. I can never remember foreign names. Oh. My name's May, don't forget it. May. Okay, got it. So rude to your elders and those better. What? You're older than me? I may look young, but I'm quite a bit older than you. Is that so? Why would I lie to you? I'm sorry, ma'am. So, this is May. She doesn't like you. She's not a tsundere. She just really doesn't like you. And that's fine! It's fine for people not to like you. But guess what? I'm Raguna... I don't have a last name. Uh, I make everyone like me by the end. You're going to Carmack Cave? Well, it's no concern of mine if you put yourself in danger. I want to be alone. That's fair. But being alone with your thoughts is the scariest thing of all. Okay, it's not noon, so we can't go in there. Uh, did we talk to Lucas yet? My mission right now is to send love poems to Rosetta. Well, I feel I should show my face here, even if I have no business. Final place I haven't gone yet, I believe. Well, besides the, you know, two places that aren't open yet. Good morning! I issued you a pass. Use it to enter the caves, but take care. If you don't have a sword, I recommend you buy one at Leo's shop first, before entering the caves. Alright, nothing new, so let's get out of here. Alright, back in Carmite Cave, we are going to dodge around all the enemies, hopefully get past them before they spawn, and head back up here. We watered all these crops and everything, so, you know, let's make advantage of it. Let's take advantage of this. Boom. And... Boom. Be very careful where your cursor is sitting. By the way, if you don't like the cursor for whatever reason, you feel like it's disturbing you or whatever else you want to do, Press select and it gets rid of it. I will keep using it because the cursor is extremely important for not dropping things in the wrong space and missing and a bunch of other things that would be incredibly sad if they were to happen. Pull out my hammer. Alright. Now that I've got him down there, I can start mining and get iron ore immediately. That's the rare item in here, actually. That's really lucky. So this is how mining works. Two hits, two normal hits, and I just got bronze, the rarest. Okay. Okay. That's beyond lucky. Um. Oh, wow. I'm getting extremely lucky with this batch. Uh, there's no need to fight the monster for now. Unless you just don't want to deal with, you know, dodging around it. I got lucky, and it attacked me down there. Now we're leaving the dungeon before doing anything else. 
I wasn't expecting to have that good of a run, but normally you just get scrap metal and pretty much nothing else to begin with. I got three bronze, two iron, and six scrap iron. You know, um, that's not only good money, but also good for upgrading things later on. I will start dealing with all this stuff now. Now, the shipping bin. I haven't really explained how this works yet. Shipping bin, you just drop things in at 5 p.m., you know, you get paid. I will be shipping one of every item, kind of. Every item that isn't a curio, like the roll of booty. Still feel like I'm saying that incorrectly. There we go. I just helped my shipping list a bit. If you want to see the shipping list, come down here and do it by cost so you can see what you've actually shipped some of. And that's how it works. It's that simple. If you want to talk to Mist, Hello. you got a pass to Carmite Cave. You're awesome, Raguna. I guess I got pretty good judgment. Don't forget to water the seeds after sowing them or the crops won't grow. Ivan comes to him peddling his wares. Uh, oh, a seed maker is a great device for making seeds. Just put vegetables in it. Here's something amazing. Mix seeds with green fire and they'll become better seeds. Grow a vegetable with better seed and put it in the seed maker and it'll become an even better seed. In other words, keep repeating this and the quality of seeds will keep getting better. You can sell high quality vegetables at a really high price. Don't forget this. It's important advice. Ragoon, I really feel that you have the powers of an earth mate. Okay. So, as she said, um, you can level it up that way. If you have two copies of the game, or have a friend who owns it, you guys can trade seeds back and forth and grow crops that way. You can do it however you wish. Um, I will not be taking advantage of that. For the most part, in this game, it doesn't matter that much getting high quality crops, unless you're doing it for money. If you're doing it for money, absolutely, you can make a huge amount of money with yam, uh, sweet potatoes. But, um, it's, there are some better ways to do things, less time-consuming ways, and it's kind of my prerogative to do things as fast as possible right now. Alright, hey Emmett, welcome, so what's it gonna be? I just wanna chat. Carmite Cave, eh? You wouldn't catch me going there, too scary, haha. <laughs> um... I have a thing. So, Emmett is one of the easiest people to get to max friendship in the entire game. Simply because he loves roll of booty. He loves alcohol. And this is one of the rarest alcohol in the entire world. At a high friendship, if you talk to him in his house, he will tell you that he's been looking for years for roll of booty. So let's give him some preemptively. The rare roll of booty? How? What? Where did you get this? I got it from Jasper's wine cellar. It's a shame I'm too young to drink something like this. Why don't you try a little? Wow, thanks! I'm so happy, thanks! As a token of my gratitude for the roll of booty, please have this. My renowned ultimate curry. You got ultimate curry. Wow, I'm truly thankful, Raguna. Now, ultimate curry is quite the item. So, first off, before we get into the ultimate curry, he is now at 8 friendship with us, out of 10. Yeah, uh, it just shoots you up 8 full levels, it's a really easy way to get him to 10. By the end of the season he'll be at 10 and we'll be best friends forever. Now, Ultimate Curry, worth 800. Now with food there's something called the Experity stat. Um, it is how long the food stays in your belly before the effects wear off. Food will recover RP or uh, and or HP and have a special effect after that. It might help you resist sealing paralysis. It might help you raise your like magic stats, like your magic, your fire magic, your water magic, earth or wind magic, both at offensive and defensive. Or it might increase like your strength, intelligence, dexterity, or vitality. Ultimate Curry is exactly what it says. It raises all of your magical uh, affinities by five points for offensive, so five magic, uh, I mean fire attack, water attack, earth attack, and wind attack. It increases your strength, intelligence, dexterity, and vitality by five points. It increases your RP by 24, 
your HP by 150, your max HP by 50 for the 210 second thing, so, you know, three and a half minutes, or three and a half hours in-game. And is just fantastic overall. I will not be taking advantage of this. I will be selling it for the money for now to get things going towards future things. But the advantage to selling it now is that you get 800 and you get it on your shipping list. And the shipping list doesn't exactly matter currently or ever in this game, but I care about it purely because I want a I want a completion. I want to be able to say I completed this game and just be able to have that satisfaction, I guess. So, ultimate curry in the shipping box. At 5 p.m., we get 800 plus whatever else we sold. So we don't exactly have a lot of money right now. Um, I, since I do have a bit of time, so you can use your sickle on these plants. You know, boom. Or, let's check her. Uh, I actually won't be showing that at the moment because I'm really low in energy. I didn't realize I was quite that low. This only takes one each, so I'll just do this to waste a bunch of my energy real quick. Okay. We're going to waste a little bit more time. I'm going to meet you guys at the hot spring. Rather than at the hot spring, let's go talk to people. That's a pretty cute stone, is that your treasure? Yep, my name's Cecilia, but everyone calls me Cece. What's your name? My name's Raguna. That's a nice name. It's nice to meet you, Raguna. Cecilia. You know what? I like to collect all kinds of stones. <laughs> if you find any good ones, give them to me, okay? Okay, sure. Hello. If it was summer, we could swim. Too bad. They say you can talk to the outside world with this big shell. Pretty amazing, huh? Okay, and now it's looping. So I figure I would go talk to some people before we actually went to the thing since, you know, this doesn't take energy. Are you going out to Carmite Cave? I don't believe it. What do the caves have that Ocean doesn't? Come in. It's peaceful every day in this town. Come in. My son Nicholas loves getting into mischief. He's such a pest. Come in. I caught one longer than a meter the other day. I really wanted to show you that one. To fish, you need a good rod, and you need to know where the fish are. It's not out of the question to catch a huge fish with the right equipment and knowledge. I hear you can also fish inside the caves. I wonder what works in the waters there. Come in. Def also, I just realized I never explained the controls for this game. As I mentioned, LB will bring up the tool wheel. LA will bring up the item wheel. LX will bring up the magic wheel, which we only have one of. Holding the R button makes you run. B will, of course, attack. A will let you interact or throw things. X will let you teleport or heal or whatever kind of magic that you have on. And select will, you know, do that. I always feel so much better after a good bath. No, really, I do. The water temperature is just perfect today. Perfect. What? It's not always perfect? Well, I guess there are days like that, too. Welcome. Sweat out your troubles and take a good rest here, okay? Alright. Well, let's take her advice. Thank you. I love it when people come here and take a bath. 10G, which, you know, puts us down to 7G, hence why I sold the grass earlier. This feels so nice. Now, speaking of, you know, all the different characters who have different affections and all that, Melody is special. More so than the fact that she wears a witch outfit and, you know, runs a bathhouse, all that kind of thing. Her friendship is actually, well, it's a mixed bag. You can talk to her when she's not on duty and she'll come closer to you. Uh, if you talk to her when she's, like, completely out of her building, that can build up her friendship and affection yeah. with her. 
But if you want to build up her affection very quickly, take a bath every single day. She loves baths to the point where anyone coming to use it, it just brings her joy and happiness, and honestly, she's too pure for this world. Now, before we actually get to work again, let's head out here. We keep making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and we're Sharon bound. There's something that draws you into the caves. I know all about it. I have to wonder why this place why this place is like this. There's been something strange in the air recently. Maybe it's my imagination. I have no idea when or by whom these ruins were built. I want to unravel this mystery. Alright. That's what Sharon has to say for us. By the way, one of my favorite things to do, run to the edge of the screen and start running away from it. It doesn't make any sense, but I love it. Alright, let's try doing combat against the first enemy here. If you hide beyond the thing, he'll just get stuck on it and can't even attack you. And it's easy. Later enemies, like the ones that have seal, are not so easy. You have to dodge them correctly. Or else they can, you know, inflict bad status effects like poison or seal. Here we go. Alright, let's keep making progress and fighting enemies. Also, you have a chance to miss even, you know, static objects like the, you know, gates or whatever it's called. Oh, level up. Level 2, we now have 108 HP, but our max RP is still 100. It stays that way the entire time. As you level up, your stats will increase, your HP will increase, and you'll get a full HP heal. Refill. Alright, I believe this is a goblin? Oh. We just got a warrior certificate. Okay. That's actually really good. Um, that's actually, I believe, Camus' favorite item, and also an item we need for crafting and for shipping. So I'll probably ship this one, and any future ones will just work towards those totals that we need for Camus' affection and a bunch of other things. Iron, not bad. So yeah, these dungeons aren't that hard if you can actually dodge out of the way of the simple monster's hits. Grinding is pretty easy so long as you're not dealing with ranged enemies. Ranged enemies make things a little bit more complicated, and it's just best to stay clear of them for now. Okay, if we were to go south, there's some ants down there we could fight. I will not be taking on any enemies with status effects for now. It's just not worth it when I'm such low level and I don't plan on completing the dungeon this time. But if you are going to try to complete the dungeon, destroy every single spawner. It's actually a requirement. Don't get to the end and find out you can't get through the door. It's pretty crappy, actually. Um, back up here... Get our mining level up. Though I'm not sure these rocks have anything good. I've seen conflicting reports on how the rocks work in this game when mining. Some say that certain rocks in certain areas will give you better stuff than other ones in the same dungeon. Other people say that's all just nonsense. I'm not positive on that. Yeah. I'm going to look deeper into that and future game on screen might say something. Yeah. But who knows? Um, all I do know is that this hammer actually does affect what we get. The cheap hammer that you start out with is not very good. You can't get very good metals out of it or even gemstones. The best thing, if you're really lucky, is you could get like a bronze or something. Or like a... You know, it is possible to get the better ones, but it's a lot rarer, I should be saying. So, like I was saying before, you can use the scythe on these, the sickle. Or, if you wanted to, you'd use your sword. This will actually raise your swordsmanship skill. And, you know, if you want to, you can go in there and you can 
upgrade your swordsmanship like that. I will not be doing that. Uh, my swordsmanship gets up pretty easily over time anyway, and I'd rather have the farming because it takes a lot of RP to get your farm going in the beginning. Okay, how much does it cost to swing this? 19... 17. So only two. Not bad. It's not like it used to be more. Womp. Maybe I'm thinking one of the later hammers. Um, just to be sure it is two. Yeah. That beeping gets annoying very quickly. And as such, we're out of this dungeon. Luckily, the beeping does not continue outside the dungeon. But that's about all we can do today. Also, if I go check my money since af after five, we have almost a thousand once again. All thanks to that curry. So we're going to call it good there. And guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory. We're going to be delving further into Carmite Cave, just farming, and I don't plan on beating Carmite Cave for at least another three days, maybe a week. It really depends on how I'm doing, like, level-wise and everything, and money-wise. So guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye.